humans are pretty messed up. Don't go trying to tell me we're superior because we're dumb. We are. And it's okay. It's okay. It's okay because we're all dumb because we're all a product of incest. Now, hear me out. Hear me, hear me out. <laughs> well, we are. Uh, if you... If you believe in religion, especially Catholicism or Christianity, well, or even Judaism, I guess. Uh, anyway, a lot of religions believe in Adam and Eve, right? We came from two people. God made Adam, and then he took his rib, and he made a, you know, Eve. And then they had children. They had Cain, they had Abel, and, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know, Seth. The not-so-famous Seth from the Garden of Eden or whatever. And then, uh, you know, Cain kills Abel or whatever. But what you do know for a fact is there's no way that Adam and Eve individually populated all of humanity. That's just not possible. He might be from God and she might be from his rib or whatever, but she's not having 8 billion, no, not 8 billion, but she's not having all those babies herself, which means that there's some incest going on. At some point, Cain is having sex with Eve, and of course he is because he's a murderer. Um, so he's having sex with her, Adam's having sex with Eve, Seth's jumping in for the threesome, at some point, some daughters get born. Now they're having sex with their brothers and their father and on and on and on. And so there's really no way to avoid the fact that if you're religious, you 100% come from incest. And I looked it up because I'm curious. I'm not religious, but I was curious. How do they get around that one? Because clearly incest is illegal. Even the Bible says so. But their uh, justification, the religious scholars, is, well, uh, they were more pure. They were, more, they were so pure that they could do the unpure act of incest because there weren't genetic uh, ramifications. <laughs> Cain was given evil ramifications. If you know what I'm saying. But uh, they say there weren't the genetic ramifications where now, one of the reasons incest is bad, besides morally, is it actually will produce birth defects. So they say, well, back in the day, they weren't having the birth defects from all the incest. And then if you look at the Bible, uh, around the time of Moses, then they started to notice, like, uh-oh, kids are starting to get born with, like, three ears and stuff. And God's like, oh, I already went down once, but I better go down again. Moses! Everyone needs to stop having sex with their sisters and mothers. Humanity's going in a bad direction. Oh, and by the way, here's ten other things you should probably do. <laughs> so, if that's the case, if you're religious, you're 100% a product of incest. But even if you're not religious, you're still a product of incest. In a way. Because now, evolution is what got us here. And the way evolution works is you have an animal and it has offspring and the offspring has a genetic mutation which makes it different. And if that thing that's different makes them better, more able to survive, more able to have more offspring, well then, you know, uh, a new version of the old version uh, exists. And I'm sorry if you're watching this and you're religious and you're like, hey, wait a minute, if we came from apes, where, why are there still apes? Actually, the dumb people say, if we came from monkeys, why are there still monkeys? And then I have to say, well, you're right. We didn't come from monkeys. We came from apes, and you're too dumb to know the difference. Anyway, 
But if we came from evolution, we're still a product of incest in a way because I know this isn't exactly how it works, but I like to imagine that there was a point where an ape had another ape and it was more on its way to being a human because it was smarter. And then I like to imagine that down the road, there would have been an ape who was born, who stopped and said, hey, what does this all mean? What's going on above our heads? Does that go on forever? Oh my God. We're going to die. I'm going to die. Does something happen after I die? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is a lot to take in. Anyway, I'm horny. I'm going to go over there and fuck that monkey slash ape. But so, first off, we're a product of bestiality because there had to be a point where there were more human-like apes having sex with the less human apes, which essentially is bestiality. They would have to be because otherwise who are they having their offspring with? So there was a humanoid ape who's banging just an ape ape. And then at some point, the humanoid, the more human-like apes, would gravitate towards having sex with the other human-like apes, but they would all be related. They'd have to be, because they all came sort of from the same genetic mutation, which was one single ape. So there there you go. So no matter how you slice it or dice it or uh, whatever, we're all a product of incest, and that's why... It's 2024, and humans still act like they're crazy. (laughs) So, it's never going to change. It's never going to change. So, just accept it. Anyway, happy Easter.